All right, we're on here, guys. We're here to cover the Jane McGrath Classic International Exhibition here at Wanda Beach. Come and follow the Jane. Come on, come on. All right, we're here, guys. We're going to see the two-kilometre beach sand run. We've got internationals from all the countries coming to represent their nation today to raise funds for a great cause. Come on. Shout out morning. to the cameraman here. Jane, Jane McGrath Classic. Always got to give love to the cameraman. And, uh, uh, so we run the, we've run the Jane McGrath Classic the for the last, oh, I think it's 16, 17 years. Oh, we're um, Jane McGrath was a great friend of ours when I worked with the Australian cricket team. She's really good mates with my wife and, and Glenn's obviously worked with him for many years. So we didn't know how to help. So what we did was put on a fun run while she was still alive to show that we were giving her support. My mother also died from breast cancer. so. It's a really close to our hearts and uh, it's been shut down for COVID for the last uh, couple of years. Opportunity came to run with us, uh, run this during the Surf Lifesaving event. Um, so I took it and uh, here we are. Okay, everyone doing the Jay Murray Classic, just um, onto the line or up to the starting area. Set. It's the Jane McGrath Classic two kilometre events. So they're coming around the turning position. You're going to come around the top flag. Deep. Big round of applause. Yeah, comprehensive win there. Well done. Quick, quick, okay, you put it down now. Push on. Uh, well, we just had the Jane McGrath then, Jane McGrath Classic. Um, fantastic 2K soft sand beach run, that's our specialty. Um, and then we're following up with a whole lot of surf life saving events now. Um, and so to, final, to finish off the event will be our international challenge with the Great Arlena Jam. No. Um, so we've got 10 nations uh, covered. They're all elite runners from either heritage from those nations or they're from there. Um, and we've just, we've had no international competition for a couple of years. So we're lucky we've got heaps of elite uh, international Great runners. They're catching me mid-stress here with representing Team Australia, the great Ali Najem. How are we, brother? Good, brother. I'm very good. How are you guys? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Talk to us about the event, a bit about yourself and uh, what's to come. Uh, well, this race, Two kilometre soft sand race. I don't know who decides to do it, but I don't recommend it. No, I'm joking. It's a very good event. It's for Surf Life Saving Australia. We're trying to get it actually inside into the international life saving. Um, so it's an exhibition race. It's a stepping stone for all of us. So hopefully uh, we come out here and, I don't know, win a few medals. So yeah, there's a lot of medals. There's a lot of prestige on the line. Uh, anyone representing Team Lebanon? Uh, yeah, myself. A um, bit of mix between both. I actually asked Jock where was Team Lebanon, um, but there's no surf club in Lebanon. That's the first problem. So hopefully we'll open up one soon somewhere. Yeah, look, I was thinking of stretching. I don't know. I've never, I've never run two k's in my life. It's the earliest I've woke up. We'll leave the champion tour. We'll catch up with you. Uh, you need to be down at the marshalling area right now. I've been inspired by all this running. You ready? Just for the about three the minutes of time. So if you're in the. So I feel like I'm inspired. I think I might represent a team today. <laughs> I do like the finish. Yeah. I like it, eh? Summer salt. Um, mate, it's one foot in front of the other, you can't go wrong. <laughs> Thank you. I think we've got a future for this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Any comments, Hess, on uh, the, uh, the event thus far? What a lovely event. What a lovely day. Jock Campbell from Jock Athletic. We're moments away from the main event, the international. Ali Nadjum will be looking to represent Australia. How are things going to go down in the beach? 2K soft sand run, Jane McGrath Day, international exhibition. I don't know. Let's go. Could have raced for Lebanon, but chose Australia. Welcome to the start line, Ali Nadjum. All right, we're on here, guys, in the beach. 2K soft sand run, international. Well, look, the podcast does have voices with Team Najum here, Team Australia. We never commentated the soft, soft serve running. Soft serve running. Yeah. 
and now the, the girls are on the way. So here the 2K run. Uh, what are we looking for, Hans? You don't want them to go too quick, too fast. You know what? Well, maybe I'm going to have to behave here and just no comment. I don't know how to commentate. Never commentated the 2K run. Never woke up this early in my life to come to the beach. This is 500 metres. And Thomas Gale has got... Oh, so I think I've understood the game. It's all about moves. You might call this chess. We've got Najam in first, uh, Ireland in second, Australia in third, Canada in fourth. We're approaching the last lap here, anything can happen. So Team Australia is running strong in both races here. So you got King in first place, he's pushing a steady pace, he's got Ireland on his tail, but I don't think they got a chance. Najim, keep going mate. Oh, a bit of... He had to change his course a bit. Wow, we've got the men's international 2K approaching the end here. The next car's for everything. We're open to anything and everything. We cover everything. Final stretch, men's international 2K run. Anything can happen here. The title is on the line. It seems like Najim has pushed forward. It looks like a great gap. I can't see Ireland anywhere. It's Australia in one and two. He's pushing. Oh, he's doing well here. Ali Najee for Australia. He has won the International 2K. The podcast is calling him before he crosses the line. One and two. What an effort. Some great stuff here, honestly. Much respect to all competitors. This is go after an emphatic victory by congratulations, Team Australia, the winner. Ali Najee, how's it feel, brother? It's amazing. Um, Probably a very strong field. Not many people know Jordan, obviously, two-time world champion. I came to him, uh, I came second to him twice a few years back when I first started. Nathan Breen, absolute unbelievable runner. Triathlete, just came back from Jindabyne. And, um, Rory, mate, breathes only from his nose. Absolute freak. He's uh, doing it for, I think he's doing a PhD in philosophy and breathing. So, mate, he's a, he's a machine. Race for New Zealand. So, to win against that field, I'm pretty stoked. Mate, so there's a lot of gamesmanship, something that I didn't realise. When did you know you had to bite the bullet and go and push the pace? Because when you push, that gap to show. Yeah, yeah. Well, me and Kai, who's the uh, junior Aussie champ and junior world champ, him and I train together every single day. So, we, we work our tactics very well. We train it. Um, always the case, he leads the first sort of lap and a half, two laps. And, and then from there, I put the pressure on. And more of a game, whoever wants to come with can come with. And whoever doesn't want to, obviously, they don't. So, uh, yeah, we broke the table, which is good. Uh, yeah, you guys done well. Talk to us a bit. A bit about the finish line. You approach the finish line, seems like you were going to walk across together. What was your mindset there? Because you could have kept going. 100%. I just want to make sure my teammate came second. We trained hard together. There's a bit of prize on the line. So we always like to we always like to win it. And uh, I told him we're going to split at the end. So we're both starving. So we could do a nice outside bowl out in Canola. Uh, absolute champions. Congratulations. For Jock after the international. Talk to us about that, Jock. How did it go? Oh, mate, it was so good. No one wanted to lead any of the races. It was very tactical. So it's either a fast race where it goes from the start or tactical where they, they're trying to feel each other out, no one wants to lead, and then it's just an explosion towards the end, which you saw in the women's, which is unbelievable finish. Carla um, Papik spurted out with 2.50 to go and looked like she had the wood on Chloe, but Chloe hung in there, hung in there and got her at the end. So it was an amazing race. Well, well, that was an effort. I reckon you got tied, don't you? Well, oh boy, did I get tied 100%. And then in the open men, well, extreme Najim just flexed his muscles. And that's the way it's been the last five years. He puts, it, he puts the hammer down and no one comes close. And I told him it seemed like he wanted to stop across the finish line with his teammates. Any comments here, what was going on? Mate, he annoys me when he does that. I just get across the line and show back. <laughs> They're just starting Jess, so we're away in the international, so we have Europe, North America, and it looks like we have the world of the I just think it looks like we supported the world
Kai's done well. Second in the relays. What's going on there? Mate, nothing went wrong to be honest. Kai's just running too good. That's the problem. Uh, Chloe and I backed up. But Chloe obviously had to push a bit harder than I did for my race. So obviously we saw that. A bit, uh, bit of hurt in the legs. But that no, was good fun. It's good fun. We'll take first and second Aussies. Yeah, success first, second. All stays within the team. Talk to us about Hydrolite, mate. What's his drink? I nearly died drinking it. <laughs> it's been an absolute great event. Shout out to Hydrolite for uh, jumping on board for the Jane McGrath, Glenn McGrath Foundation. It's a great day. But let me tell you guys, I've had a couple of sips. I've dropped a couple of sips. Let me have a go. Oh, yeah. It's missing a lot of sugar, a lot of taste. I don't know. I think this is made for athletes or something. Oh. The number one sponsor of Jock, to be honest, they've been doing for years um, supporting Jock. Uh, amazing recovery drink. I actually use it a lot. Now, for me, that tastes too strong, so I usually empty tiny bit out, add a bit more water. Or I mix it with Red Bull because I'm a bit crazy sometimes. So, but no, perfect drink, especially uh, on my Sunday long runs. I do a fair bit of running. So, overall, Jock Athletic, it was a great day for you guys. One and two, like you said, you guys took it out earlier. The wrap up that they had as a feel. Ecstatic electric, not too bad to start a day off, public holiday. Uh, I was thinking at the start, I'd rather be home sleeping in, but I'm actually glad I got out here around today. So, I really appreciate boys coming here and supporting us as well. 100%, congratulations. He's needed everywhere, guys. The man, the myth, the legend, the king, the dream. There he is. Legend, guys, we're here with Kai, the training partner of Ali. How did it feel to pick him off in the uh, relays? Yeah, he got me in the first race with him. I got him in the last bit in the relay, so it felt good, yeah. So a bit of success, you shared the first place. Overall, talk to us about the event, your performance, how you feel at the moment. Yeah, it felt good to be representing Australia alongside Ali. Then we had the good relay team, and then me and Ali just pushed out first and second in the 2K. Hey, mate, say, so Tommy, your training partner, he's going day in, day out, you know, he's dig the trenches together. Talk to us about Ali, mate. Anything we don't know that he hasn't told us. No comment, you can't say that, so. No comment, mate. It's been a successful day representing Team Australia. Congratulations. Have a good one. Final comments for the vlog for the people. How was the event? Wrap it up for us, mate. Mate, what a world event on beautiful Cronulla Beach. Could there be anything better? People ask me why I like sand running better than track running. Well, I'm at the beach. <laughs> um, but anyway, mate, great racing. Really well supported from our elite runners from around Australia. Uh, you need to be down to the marshalling area right now. I think right I've been inspired by all this running. Are you ready? Just for the about the three minutes here. time. So I'm if you're in the... Went and King Najim did it again. <laughs> uh, yeah, just, just really good, really good competition. And everyone's had a, had a ball here. So thanks for coming and following nah, Thank you, mate. Always uh, good, brother. Honestly, there's a pleasure covering the event. It's more about what Jane McGrath stood for, breast cancer awareness, getting out there, getting healthy. Final message for the people, Jock. Well, mate, I just want to say this. This is the dedication of your host. He rang me during the week. I forgot to ring him back at 4 o'clock this morning. I went, oh, no. So I texted him at 4.30. Turns up for race day. What a show. Mate, the cameraman needs a shout out. I was beeping outside his house. Get up, wake up. we got a gig. We're out, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We're out.